<laughs> and they say crime doesn't pay. Let's see about that. Aha! Jackpot! Time to make a small withdrawal. Come to mama, baby. <laughs> What in the... Hey! You can't be here! <sighs> Dang it! How did this old man find me? I need to act cool. <clears throat> Good evening, sir. Lovely night for some banking, wouldn't you say? Hey! Stay back! Robbing? Oh, no, no, sir! Never! I'm making a late night deposit <laughs> into my backpack. That's not how this works. I'm calling the cops. Uh... Hello, Mr. Police Officer. There's a thief down here and... Uh, uh. I'd reconsider that. This could get messy. <laughs> Please don't. Let, let's talk about this. Relax. It's just water. But seriously, I'd hate to ruin your uniform. Oh, you little wimp. You're not gonna get away with this. Oh, I believe I already have. By the way, you might want to check the second floor. I may or may not have left a little surprise in the manager's office. <gasps> what did you do? Let's just say his office might be a bit, uh, sticky in the morning. Nothing a little cleaning can't fix. <laughs> Adios! Hey! Wait up! Stay right there and submit yourself! Wait, where am I? What the? Ew, 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 ew! That's so disgusting! Ah! <sighs> 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 Calm down, Bertha. You just need to dodge this guy and get the heck out of here! Hello? Anyone there? <gasps> Whoa! What in the world? Who? How? Security! Shh! Don't, please! You need to help me! Listen, I didn't mean to barge in like this. I'm in trouble. Someone's after me. Why? Why are you in my bathroom? And who's after you? Nathan? Babe? Is everything okay in there? I heard a noise. Uh, yeah. All good. Just hit the shower handle. Got myself with hot water. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Just be careful. Start from the beginning. Who are you and what's going on? My name is Bertha. I, I witnessed something I shouldn't have, and now they're after me. They? Who's they? I can't get into it now. Please, I just need somewhere to hide until I can figure out what to do. <sighs> this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. What did I get myself into? I know it is, but I wouldn't be here if I had any other choice. Okay, okay, fine. You can stay. But only until we figure something out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nathan, honey, who are you talking to? Uh, myself? Just psyching myself up for the day. Don't worry, I'll be out soon. Oh, <laughs> right? Well, breakfast is ready. Great, I'll be right out. Love you. We need a plan and fast. I can't have you stay in my shower room because if my parents found out that I'm in a shower room with some random girl beside Samantha, they're gonna kill me. Wait, were you supposed to be with your girlfriend here? That's not what I meant. Uh... Right. Let's think. Uh... Oh! I have a plan. Samantha, uh, what's going on here? Nathan, we need to talk. Talk about what? 
Why are you holding his hand? Nathan, I never wanted to hurt you, but I can't keep pretending anymore. Pretending? About what? That I love you. I never did, Nathan. It was all due to my family's pressure. And you know that. I... I don't understand. All this time. You? Yes, and I'm so sorry. But I've always loved Michael. He's who I want to be with. Please, I hope you understand. So, our relationship, it was all a lie? In a sense, yes. I care about you, Nathan. But not in the way you deserve. Not in the way you care about me. And you think you'll find happiness with him? With this guy? What's his name again? Mike? It, it, it's Michael. I do, Nathan. He's the one I love. <sighs> I see. Then, I won't stand in your way. Nathan, listen. I never meant to. It's okay, Samantha. I want you to be happy, even if it's not with me. Thank you, Nathan. For everything. I hope you find someone who truly loves you. But, please, you have to promise me something. Oh. Is there more to ask? I thought this would be enough. Go on. Can you not tell my parents about this? You know their temper, and if they found out that I broke up with you to be with Michael, they're going to ruin my whole life, no matter where I am. Don't worry, I got you. Hey, buddy, make sure to take good care of her. I, I, I will. Let's go, Samantha. Nathan? Oh, Bertha, it's you. I thought you left. I was going to, but that conversation had me stay. I heard what happened, and I'm so sorry, Nathan. It's okay. It's better to know the truth, right? Yeah, it is. But that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. Yeah, it does hurt. A lot. If it means anything, I think you're an amazing person, Nathan. Samantha's loss is... Well, it's her loss. Thanks, Bertha. That means a lot coming from you. I'm just scared to confront my parents about this. This was my last try. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? I know this sounds crazy, but I have a very hard time trying to make someone stay in a relationship with me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, though. And Samantha isn't my first one. I've been rejected like that so many times. Hmm. <gasps> Wait! This leaves me with a golden opportunity! I should totally ask to be his girlfriend. I mean, he's freaking rich after all! Uh, well, uh, it may sound dumb, but you said that you're scared to confront your parents, right? I'm terrified, yeah. Well then, how about, after what I say, you don't have to anymore? I'm confused. What are you talking about? Let's date! Whoa! I don't even know you very well. How am I supposed to trust you? Chill out, handsome. This is the only way for your life to be saved. Besides, you can always leave me once you find someone who's a match for you. So, what do you say? You know what? I like your dumb idea. <laughs> I knew it. Thank you so much, Bertha. I'm so happy I got to meet you. Me too. Um, so, everyone, this is Bertha. She's, um, she's my girlfriend. Girlfriend, huh? What happened to Samantha? Last we heard, things were serious between you two. Well, uh, it's complicated. Samantha and I, we decided to, um, end things. It wasn't working out. Huh, just like that? And suddenly, there's a new girl in the picture? Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins, I know this must be quite a surprise, and I truly appreciate you welcoming me into your home. Nathan has told me so much about you. Well, it's nice to meet you, Bertha. Nathan rarely brings friends around. Yes, well, we care about who our son spends his time with, especially after Samantha. I understand, Mrs. Jenkins. It's never easy seeing changes, especially unexpected ones. But I hope in time you'll see my intentions with Nathan are sincere. Mom, Dad, I wouldn't have brought Bertha here if I didn't think it was important. I care about her, and... I hope you'll give her a chance. <laughs> well, you've certainly done your homework. 
Hmm, we'll see. It takes more than a few charming words to be part of this family. Well, thanks, Mr. Jenkins. I hope to win you over in time, and I look forward to getting to know the both of you better. Nathan has shared so much about how caring and strong his family is. Nathan, you've picked someone who knows how to make a good impression. <laughs> sure he did. Actions speak louder than words. Uh, how about we continue dinner, guys? Sure. Let me help you with this, everyone. Bertha, thank you for dinner today. No need to mention it. Good night. Bertha? What on earth are you doing? Oh! Mrs. Jenkins, I was just... Adding to bed. In the guest room? But why not with Nathan? Aren't you two, uh, together? Oh, shoot! What should I do now? Come on, Bertha, think of an excuse! Oh, um, well, yes, but Nathan snores like a freight train, and not just any train, but one that's somehow going uphill both ways. <laughs> Snoring? I have never heard Nathan snore in his life. Oh, it's a recent development. Very recent. Like, extraordinarily recent. Something that I discovered not that long ago. And, and that's your reason? It seems a bit... drastic. Health reasons, Mrs. Jenkins. Sleep is important for both of us, especially Nathan. He needs his beauty sleep. Not that he isn't already beautiful. I see. And here I was thinking you two were in the honeymoon phase. How practical of you. Oh, absolutely. We're all about practicality. Why, we even schedule our romantic walks. Efficiency is key. <laughs> well, I must say, this is a first. I'll leave you to your efficient sleeping arrangement then. <sighs> Mrs. Jenkins? If you ever need tips on practical romance, I'm your girl. Uh, no, no, that won't be needed. G good night. You sure? Okay. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. No way. Is this real? This has to be worth a fortune. And necklace it's gone how could this happen in our own home mom are you sure you didn't just misplace it you know how things can get nathan i know exactly where i left it this isn't just some trinket we're talking about mrs jenkins that sounds awful i can't imagine someone here would take it though has anyone seen anything this necklace means the world to me we haven't touched anything ma'am we know better than to go near your personal items Let's not jump to conclusions, honey. There's got to be a reasonable explanation. What about guests? Bertha, you've been up and about. Oh, I wouldn't dream of touching your things, Mrs. Jenkins. I've barely left my room. Mom, you can't accuse Bertha because of something like that. She would never. Exactly, Martha. We'll figure this out. But accusing our staff or guests without evidence isn't right. <sighs> I suppose you're right. It's just, that necklace was a gift from my mother. Don't worry, Mrs. Jenkins. I'm sure it'll turn up somewhere unexpected. These things usually do. <sighs> All right. If you guys say so. I'm heading to my room. I still need some rest. <laughs> and then, he just walked right into the pond? <laughs> I couldn't see it! Your stories were too distracting! Mm. Enjoying the morning, are we? Just sharing some stories, Mom. I hope some stories about where my earrings have gone off to might surface as well. Uh, I wouldn't know about that, Mrs. Jenkins. Oh, please! Don't play so innocent now! You know what? Don't you think it's too coincidental? Ever since you arrived, things have been disappearing! What? I didn't take anything! Why would I? Mom, we can't just accuse Bertha without proof.
can't believe you're doing this. You know what? I have had enough. More items have gone missing, and it's clear who the culprit is. And you, I don't know what spell this witch has cast on you. You have been so blinded by her love and beauty. Because right now, you're replacing her with your own mother, Nathan. Me? You think I'm stealing from you? I've done nothing but respect your home since I arrived. Mom, please. Let's just talk about this calmly. Accusations aren't going to help anything. Please. All of these problems started when she arrived. It's not a coincidence. That's unfair. I've been nothing but kind, and this is how you repay me? Accusations and distrust? Whoa, whoa. What is going on over here? What's all this heated argument about? Let's all take a breath here. Accusing someone without proof. The proof is in the pudding. Or in this case, the disappearing valuables. I don't have to take this. I came here under difficult circumstances, and this is what I get? Accusations? Is that it, Nathan? Why don't you just tell them the truth? You know what? I'm done. I'm leaving this place for good. Martha, please, let's just figure this out. Don't go. No, Nathan. I can't stay where I'm not wanted. Where I'm accused of things I'd never do. Look at what you've done. You've driven her away with your baseless accusations. Bertha, don't do this. We can sort it out. I can't stay, Nathan. Not now. Your mom will never trust me. And you... I don't want you to also become like your mother. I'll come with you. I'll follow you wherever you go. Please, just don't leave me. I beg you. Nathan, you can't. This is your family. No, no, Goodbye, wait. Nathan. You've been nothing but kind. Bertha, listen to me. Bertha. I'm so sorry, miss. Seems like there's a problem. I'll check it out. Ugh, great. Ah! Nathan, what are you doing? It hurts! What do you think you're doing, Nathan? Let go of me! Martha, please. Just hear me out. Don't do this. Don't leave. Nathan, I... I can't lose you. I don't care about the missing stuff. I care about you. Please, stay. Nathan, I... I know things have been messed up, but we can fix this together. Please, just don't leave me. <sighs> Nathan, I didn't expect this. So you'll stay? We can figure everything out. Just give us a chance. Nathan, I didn't know. I didn't know you felt so strongly. I love you too. I'm so sorry for everything. Bertha, you're under arrest. We've had reports of thefts, and all evidence points to you. <gasps> no, you've got it all wrong. I didn't... Hey, let her go. She's innocent. You can't just come here and accuse her without proof. We have enough to bring her in. Step aside, sir. Then arrest me instead. I... I took those things. Nathan, no, don't do this. Is that so? Well, we'll sort this out at the station. You, you're coming with me, sir. It's gonna be okay, Bertha. I promise. What have I done? I messed up! <sighs> I need to see Nathan Jenkins, please! It's urgent! Visiting hours are over. Come back tomorrow. You don't understand! He's innocent! I need to! <laughs> Please, you have to let me see him. It's all a mistake. Uh, fine. Five minutes. But I'm coming with you. I told you. I didn't do anything. Explain these missing items. Your silence is only making things worse for you. I need to go in there. Now. You've got the wrong person. Stop! It's not his fault! 
Bertha? It was me. I took those things. Nathan was just trying to protect me. Is this some kind of trick? Why should we believe you now? Check my bag. My apartment. I'll give you everything. Just please. Leave Nathan out of this. He's innocent. Please, let go of him. Bertha, no. You don't have to. I do. This is all my fault, Nathan. I can't let you suffer for my mistakes. We should check her story. If she's telling the truth, we've got a lot to sort out. Both of you, stay here. We're coming back in a minute. How did I get myself into this mess? I'm so sorry, Nathan. I never wanted you to get involved in any of this. Then why did you drag me into it, Bertha? I needed help, Nathan. You were the only person I could trust. And that's why I'm sitting here, tied to a chair. I know I made a mistake, Nathan. I should have never involved you in my mess. It's too late for apologies now, Bertha. We need to figure out a way to get out of here. Wait. I know a way to get out of here. I see a gun over there. It must be one of the officers. We can use it to escape. What? Are you crazy, Bertha? You can't just take a gun and escape. Nathan, please. We don't have any other option. We can't stay here and wait for them to arrest us. Please, Nathan. We can do this together. We'll find a way out and start a new life. I promise. Believe me. Fine. Let's do it your way. We can use this window to escape, but how can we... We have all the evidence we need. It's time to act and ensure that justice is served. Nathan, are you sure about this? This is a big step. Absolutely. It's the only way to protect others from falling victim. She has to be stopped. Nathan, how are you so certain that Bertha is behind all of this? I've seen enough during my time with the Force. Plus, the missing items, her sudden appearance, it all adds up too conveniently. I'm prepared to face them, for everyone's sake. <laughs> the justice has served.